Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time I finished uh, cleaning off Leonard Miller's bungalow. This time, we're going to be heading off to a playground to give that a good cleaning. Let's see, Park Warden, Dirt Finder. I've got a frankly ridiculous situation on my hands. You see, some of the ch local children have been coming down to the curious and unsightly form of dermatitis, ew, and a few fretful folk have been putting it down to the condition of the recreational facilities. It's all nonsense, of course, but if we could just humor them and give the whole thing a thorough hose down, I would be most grateful. I have a feeling it's going to be something like... <laughs> gonna be scrubbing off liquid tetanus or something? I don't know. You know, I got a comment that doesn't quite apply to this situation, because it was about the bungalow level, but it's worth repeating. Uh, shout out to Elthwar, who says, The thing that's most impressive here is that the lawns have remained immaculate, despite the dirt on the house. They must really care for their lawns here. And yes, the, you know, the park grass is perfect, but it's like, Look how clean this fence is! Look how clean the asphalt is! And then, whatever that is! They very carefully cleaned up to that line, and then stopped. Oh, boy. That's a lot of gunk. Uh, what else can I do to continue putting that off? Oh, yes, uh... Shout out to Clunk279, it says, It would be cool if there were bonus levels where you were cleaning up places from other games, like, uh, the Resident Evil Spencer Mansion. The Hello Neighbor House. Brookhaven, to, uh, Brookhaven Hospital from Silent Hill 2. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, Shantae's Lighthouse, stuff like that. I like that. I do like that idea a lot. Alright, let's take a look at the damage. Right, Mary go round. Uh huh. Stego slide, that's kind of cool. I like that. I mean, it does kind of look like it would make you sick just looking at it. I'm not actually sure what color it's supposed to be. That ball, once again, immaculate. Oh, the garbage can. I'll probably start there, for irony's sake. What's all that over there? For a second, I actually thought I was going to hop the fence. What if I jumped on top of the garbage can? Nope. The other day I was looking at Steam and I saw a game by uh, Invisible Walls. I think that is a good name for a uh, video game developer. Jeez, I don't think it was this one. Okay, I went and checked to make sure I wasn't making a fool of myself. And uh, no, they did not make this game. Uh, they made, uh, First Class Trouble, which I'm familiar with. That's, uh, one of about a million takes on the Trouble in Terrorist Town format that have come out since Among Us made it popular again. And something I've never heard of called Aporia Beyond the Valley. Hmm. I just think, it, you know, I just feel like calling yourself Invisible Walls makes it feel like it was made by people who actually, you know, understand games. This is just disgusting. And it's probably not this visually obvious in real life when something is caked in grime. I've seen a bunch of videos of power washing stuff that, uh... Oh, let's start with this bench, then. That I didn't even realize were dirty when they started this. Oh, now it's several shades lighter. Okay, yeah. There you go. Look at the green uh, shine that sometimes appears in the stuff, anyway. What's the dirt? That is. Hey, 
if this is that same town. I don't see a volcano from here. You never know. Water droplets getting in your uh, goggles, and you wouldn't be able to wipe them off properly. And, and when you sweat, it would make the you know the uh, the little eye holes fog up. And it strikes me basically everything about this experience would be miserable in real life. Perfect. And it's all just bench, so I don't need to go back and get nitty gritty with it. Then we'll go on to the garbage can again because it's funny. Oh, I even thought there was something drawn there. It must have been crud. That was white. Man. I wonder if this will scrub the stink off. Wait, I can't go over there. How do I... Oh, yeah. Dude, that's just a garbage bag. That would have been torn to shreds. No. Stick a water grenade in there. Oh, thank God. Huh. Oh, boy. Where do I even start with this mess? Well, you do it the old fashioned way and you do it one job at a time. So. I guess we start with this part, which I have chosen completely at random. You know, because I was standing right next to it at the time, and that's about it. <laughs> okay. I should probably look in here for, uh... That's not right. It's in here. Yes, yes. All of it seems to be optional, and I don't know what to do with that. Oh, that's right, everything is crazy expensive. How much was the best one? Fuck. The good all-rounder professional duty pressure washer. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Hmm. I, th I, th hmm. I remember watching videos of this, and I remember seeing... I, I think they were going out of their way to avoid the story stuff. But uh, one thing I do remember is that they took a job where... Uh, I don't even... Oops, I hit the mic. I don't even remember what it was, but... They started a job and said, Oh, for this job you will require this, so the customer is, you know... Sent you a voucher to uh, get that for free. So I just kind of figured that I, if I waited long enough, they would uh, start rolling upgrades and, you know, suggested things to buy out. But uh, they're just kind of throwing me in and letting me figure it out. And I don't know what to do with that. Improves the range of the watcher, but cannot be used when close to a surface. Huh. Oh, this is just the upgrades. Sure. Oh, I need a soap nozzle. I didn't realize I needed to buy a special head just to buy soap. Oh, yes, and these are just skins. Right, yes. See, I like the name Space Cadet, but it doesn't really look like a 50s ray gun, so I don't know. So that appears to be the only skin for the one I'm currently using. Huh. Well, it is only 25 bucks. I kind of want to try it. I don't know why I'm surprised. Um, nothing is ever easy. No, no. Clothing? Shit! Oh, no, it's not. I'm trying to push other buttons over it or something. Um. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a fool. Crap! Uh, you know what? Maybe I can figure that out later. That's just really uh, unsatisfying, isn't it? Which is not a good thing for this game. Ah, say lucky. Maybe I'll look it up between videos. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna try going all the way around the edge and get this stuff. First. That's always a headache. God damn it. See that this will be no exception. Oh good, I have 1% completed the task.
Okay. Let's see. What right about here? Yellow shine through. <clears throat> Tendency to dissociate playing this and fall quiet to my group got a froggy there. to remember. I don't think dermatitis is, like, dangerous or anything. I think it's just really uncomfortable. I think it's like a skin issue. Or maybe I've just made an ass of myself anyway, and that's actually, like, the most deadly skin cancer or something. Moving down seemed to be easier. I know it's such a simple thing, but I still can't get over this. How uh, well they mapped out, you know, the behavior of, of water. You take a step too far back and it won't be high pressure enough to scour off all the dirt. Who would even think to, to you know, simulate that part? The only, like, mainstream developer I could think of was, uh... Probably Hideo Kojima, the uh, the Metal Gear Solid guy. And I say that because I'm reminded of a thing I learned about Metal Gear Solid 2. The uh, you know, prologue area of the game is, uh, oh, it's Solid Snake infiltrating a tanker ship. And, uh... 
one of the areas on that tanker ship is a bar. You know, not currently being used because it's being used in a military operation. But it's got its own little bar for passengers and stuff. And, uh... You know, you go there and you see a bunch of bottles of booze, a bunch of, like, you know, books and reading materials, you know, you know to uh, sit down with. Uh, and a big thing of ice. Like a shaker full of ice behind the bar. And if you shoot the shaker, you know, it'll fly up into the air, fall down, and the ice will fall down to the ground. But apparently by personal insistence of Hideo Kojima himself, they programmed in a simulation so that the smaller ice cubes melt faster than the bigger ones, because that's the way ice behaves. <laughs> and here's my favorite part of that story. There's no reason to do that. There's no keycard hidden in the ice bucket. There's, uh... Actually no reason to go to the bar at all. And there's nowhere else in the game that features ice, melting, or otherwise. So he had them specifically code in this feature to simulate, you know, the physical properties of ice. And, uh, the only place it's used is in something you, uh, as in something you don't have to interact with, in a place you don't have to go, that appears once in the game. <laughs> and that's kind of bananas as far as level of dedication goes. That's like full-on, round-the-bend, three fries short of a Happy Meal crazy. And I love it. Well, the timer is gone. Let's finish this little patch here. It'll be fine. Ooh. Wow, that is quite the stark difference. God damn. Well, I've cleaned off a garbage can, a bench, and this section of the floor, but, uh... Oh, man. When I see both garbage cans in the frame at once, it really does, uh, emphasize that, huh? <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot of cleaning ahead of us. Oh, we're getting a pretty good head start. You know, 7% already. So, uh... I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator when I work on this merry-go-round. Oh, I'm sorry, this roundabout. I guess it must be a European game. Ooh, uh, uh, oh no, the windows are opaque. We can't check which side the driver's uh, wheel is on. Steering wheel, yes. I couldn't remember the term for that for a moment. Jeez. <laughs> Later!